Hi there, welcome back. My name is Dara if you're new here, and today we're going to be making this gorgeous, neutral, romantic floral arrangement. All of the tools to design this arrangement can be found at my Amazon store linked in the description box below where you can get everything shipped directly to you and it's extremely easy. So we already have our vase prepped here. If you need to see how to do that, I will leave a link up here in the right hand, upper right hand corner for you where you can see kind of just the basic premise of how to do that. This is my own method um, and I use it specifically for these very dense style arrangements that I make. They're very floral heavy arrangements. So it's a good grid for that. The first green that I'm going in with is geranium. I cleaned those up really intensely and then I'm intentionally leaving those a lot lower than the rest of the arrangement. I didn't really want the greenery to be too visible, but I did want it to have some structure. The greenery helps with that structure and it also adds a really, really beautiful fragrance to the arrangement, which is visually undetectable, but you can definitely smell it. Then we have that gorgeous cream stock as the first flower layer. And now we're going in with white delphinium. And like all flowers, I am cleaning up these stems. I take off any of the laterals, any of the blooms that don't look good. And then of course, cleaning up that stem with Victorinox florist knife so that there's no nodes sticking out. It makes for a very easy insertion into that chicken wire grid. And then it's also very easy to take out if you need to change the placement of that stem. The other tool that is really good for this type of detail and cleanup work is the Zenfort shears. Again, all of those tools are listed below in the description box for you. They're also extremely lightweight, so very easy on the hands, very easy to hold, and very fine and sharp for fine detail work. There are some instances where you may not need tools like that, but you definitely need some type of sharp shear to do other types of detail work. So now we have this gorgeous muted lavender allium. And what I'm doing is just basically hand picking off any of the blooms that don't look good. This is just a characteristic of flowers. There's always going to be cleanup involved. It doesn't mean that the flowers are any less fresh or good. In fact, these were extremely fresh from market, but they just had some of them were a little bit dried out. So I go in there, clean off the ones that don't look good, and then I'm dotting these around the arrangement on the uppermost areas. So in the negative space of the arrangement, you can see that orb-like shape. It's really, really such a fun, almost like a firework for this arrangement. And then we have probably my favorite flower in this arrangement, these dusty lavender lisianthus. Lisianthus are just looking spectacular right now. Gorgeous summer flower, very long lasting, even though it's, it's strange because they look like a very delicate flower and they are, but they are actually quite hardy. And so what I'm doing is cleaning up any of those outer petals there and then also slightly fluffing and, and gently reflexing to reveal larger flowers. I've intentionally kept some of them smaller, some of them larger, so that I get a range of shape here. Now we have this beautiful beige mauve carnation. I use this in a lot of my arrangements. It's a very special carnation. And the recipe to design this arrangement is also linked below. I don't ship this exact flower um, recipe, but if you want to learn how to design this style arrangement, I will be hosting a Flora Lux design class. It will be a Zoom class, and I will ship for those classes. So if you are interested in signing up for one of my classes, please make sure to subscribe to my email list when I announce that class and when it's available. That way you get direct email communication from me and you know when that class is available. I'll be doing one-on-one -on -one classes as well as small groups, anywhere from about five to 10 people. So if you're interested in expanding your hobby in floral design and you 
either want to master your skills for your own flower shop or you're just an enthusiast, I am extremely excited to be offering this to you. And if there's any particular style of floral design that you are interested in learning, please also let me know in the comment section below because I would love to hear what it is that you're interested in learning. I would call this particular style a romantic garden style arrangement. And um, if you've ever taken a look at my website, you'll see that I do design in a range of styles uh, depending on who my client is. And this particular client, it was a bereavement arrangement for a very soft feminine woman. So this palette was appropriate for her. I would not send a highly contemporary all black arrangement for that type of occasion. But my, my signature style is the onyx arrangement. It's highly contemporary, super edgy in my opinion. And um, I just love a range of styles. So curious to hear what your favorite style is and what you're interested in learning. That way we can do a class particular to your style. So I finish this arrangement always with finishing touch. I give the arrangement a good twirl on that Lazy Susan, rotating the arrangement as I missed all over. And that is it, you guys. Thank you again for watching. And again, make sure to subscribe to that email in the description box below to get notified to when I launch that Zoom class.